uh, there's a question from Brother Sunni Ilyas. When Islam preaches universal brotherhood, then how come Muslims themselves are divided into sects? The question posed is that when Islam preaches universal brotherhood, how come Muslims are divided into various sects? The answer is given in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, it says, Wa tasimu bi habdillah jamiyo wala tafarraku. Hold to the rope of Allah strongly and be not divided. Which is the rope of Allah? The glorious Quran is the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It says that the Muslims should hold to the rope of Allah, the glorious Quran, and the Sahih Hadith, and they should not be divided. And the Quran says, as I mentioned earlier, in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse 159, that anyone who divides the religion into sects, you have nothing to do with him. Allah will tell him about the affairs on the Day of Judgment. That means it is prohibited for anyone to make sex in the religion of Islam. But when you ask certain Muslims, what are you? Some say I'm a Hanafi, some say I'm a Shafi, some say I'm a Hamali, some say I'm a Malaki. What was the beloved Prophet? Was he Shafi? Was he Hanbali? Was he Maliki? What was he? He was a Muslim. The Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 52, that Jesus, peace be upon the Muslims. The Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse number 67, that Abraham and Islam was a Muslim. And what is the beloved prophet? You are the Muslim. The Quran says in Surah Fusilah, chapter 41, verse number 33, Woman hasanu kala mimman wa ila lahi wa amil salihum kala inna ni minal muslimin Who is better in speech than one who invites people to the way of thy Lord, works righteousness, and says, I am of those who bow to the will of Allah, those who say, I am a Muslim. So when anyone poses the question, what are you? You should say, I am a Muslim. I have no objection if someone says I believe in certain verdicts, certain views given by great scholars like Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, Ahmad Ibn Hanbal. May Allah be pleased with them all. I respect all these great scholars. If someone agrees with certain views of Imam Shafi, sometimes may Allah be pleased with him, sometimes Abu Hanifa, may Allah be pleased with him, I have got no objection. But if anyone poses the question, what are you? You should say you're a Muslim. And as the brother said earlier, that Quran says there will be 73 sects. What it is referring to is the saying of beloved prophet. It's mentioned in Abu Dawud, hadith number 4579. It says that the religion of Islam will be divided into 73 sects. But if you note the wording of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, he said that the religion will be divided. He didn't say you should divide the religion. He's prophesizing. Though the Quran says don't be divided, the Muslims are bound to divide. And there's another hadith. This is mentioned in Tirmidhi, hadith number 171, the beloved prophet said, there will be 73 firqa, 73 sects, and all will go to hell except for one. And the companions asked, which one? The prophet said, the one that is on the path of the prophet and the companions, one that follows the Quran and the Sai hadith. So anyone who follows the Quran and hadith is on the true path. Islam doesn't believe in division. Every person, he's a Muslim. Anyone who follows the Quran says he's a Muslim. And Islam is against dividing the religion into sects and division. So if you read the Quran and Sahih Hadith, Muslims should be united on the basis of Quran and Sahih Hadith. Hope that answers the question.